Hello and welcome to the Your Business Car Guy Practical Corel Draw Tips. Today we're going to be talking about the clone tool. Here we have a uh, pretty typical project with someone who wants to use uh, an existing photograph or they're looking for something specific in their design that requires that you are using an image or a photo as opposed to just something that you're drawing. Uh, in this case we have uh, picked out a photo that has a nice sky. It'll be fairly easy to get our text on top of that. Uh, and then it has the uh, the green, the grass below. Um, it kind of gives it a natural. So if, depending on the client, if it's something about you know water or health and wellness, you know an image like this might just be a nice way to go. However, this image also has a couple of wind turbines in it, and uh, these are not something that we want for our existing clients. So what do we do, and how do we get rid of them? Well, in this case, what we're going to use is the clone tool and that will allow us to eliminate the towers but leave the background. First thing we need to do is get into where we can edit the bitmap so I'm going to edit the contents because I've already power clipped this inside. Uh, let me F4 so you can see it. Uh, here is the full image and this is actually you know a photograph uh, uh, pretty stock kind of thing uh, pretty simple and straightforward. Uh, we need to edit this into photo paint. Hit the edit bitmap and once PhotoPate opens, we want to be able to see our image. So I'm going to double click this bar here, and then I'm going to F4 to zoom to the full image. Now, the clone tool, as I'm going to show you, is extremely straightforward when dealing with something that is sort of even uh, and doesn't have a lot of intense detail. Uh, when you're dealing with something with more detail, you just have to take a little more time and take a little more uh, care with it. So what I show you today is going to seem extremely, uh, probably extremely easy, uh, but if you're dealing with, a, a, again, a very detailed background, you're just going to have to take a little more time to get it just right. Now for those of you who've seen the how to remove a background videos, this is essentially the opposite. We want to keep our background and in this case we also want to keep this grass but what we want to do is remove some detail here now you could try to figure out uh, how to maybe uh, draw around an area that has nothing in it copy and paste it over uh, and play with it that way and you can do that sort of thing and that, that can work in some circumstances but the clone tool is what we're going to take a look at today so I'm going to come here and choose the clone tool you can also just hit C on your keyboard and that activates it as well um, and in this case I've got a small circle and just like other things in Corel you can hold the shift key down click and drag one way or the other to get the size the way you want it. The clone tool uses this selector and then will paint using this selection as you move your mouse and it moves with you. So in this case I'm going to be trying to clean up vertically so I want to come off the side so that I can trace a line vertically. If I had something I want to remove horizontally you'd want to be careful and make sure your selection doesn't change. If I Again, if I were to make a selection here and start painting I'm going to be picking up grass and things as well which would be useful if that's what I'm doing but in this case I just want to be able to sort of take this part of the sky and paint it over this area. Uh, so I'm going to click here create my selection see how it's staying there and now I'm going to click and drag and sort of play with um, you know the the artisticness here and if you're using a tablet with a pen um, you can just treat it like uh, anything else uh, you know sketching or something filling in so I'm gonna click and pull down you'll notice on the left how it's also moving with me so it's kind of keeping the same basic area that I'm dealing with here and then I get near the bottom I'm still selecting and I get close to the grass I'm gonna stop now I'm gonna zoom in I'm going to click and drag to make this quite a bit smaller so it's a little more manageable make a new selection right in close here and then I'm going to continue doing my work here and again you'll notice if you're got good eagle eyes and a good monitor that some of the white there that I just tried to erase is actually slightly off tone and that's because this area here is just slightly different than what was here uh, so again you can make alternative selections and try to clean things up and I'm gonna do this here so you can really see the difference see how that's quite a bit different in color now and that's because my selection has uh, different colors in it 
So you have to be a little bit careful. Uh, I'm going to click and drag this out. Right, and so there I've cleaned it up pretty quickly right there. And again, I can clean it up pretty quickly there. And, and my selection again is what's on the left. And I'm painting what's on the right. And you can sort of fart around with it there. Um, and remember, again, the application you're using. If this was a business card, it's going to be something that's fairly small. Um, and so you can see here, here's a big difference in color. I'm going to undo that. I'm going to make a selection here on the, uh, the side, and maybe that'll be closer. That's a bit closer. Zoom in. Click and drag. Right click. Going to right click above, which again will make the color slightly different, but you know should do a pretty good job. And now, if I were to cut into the bottom, see now I could do the same thing here. I can sort of click and then sort of paint my grass over like that. See that's not too bad. And, and again, once you zoom out, it, it's like it weren't even there. Now, obviously, if you were doing a, a large billboard or a poster or something, you might need to go in and make sure it's super clean. Uh, in this instance, it's going on a business card, right? Two inches, 2.5 by uh, three and a half. Well, two by three and a half. Um, you know, it's going to be harder to tell, especially if you're going to have text or if you're doing any other effects here. So I'm going to hit save and photo paint. Uh, I'm going to close this. Brings us back to Corel. Right click, finish editing, and then I'm going to F4, and there we go. So now I could add my text. Um, I could add other graphics. I could you know, do the rest of my design work uh, around this business card. And again, very quickly, we're able to not remove the background this time, but we're actually to remove some details and leave the background. So um, that's the clone tool. Thanks again for watching the Your Business Card Guy Practical Corel Draw Tips. Again, if you have uh, any business card or design needs, check us out online, www.yourbusinesscardguy.com. See you next time.